Man, what y'all doing? I'm Jimmy's mama. I think you know my friend, T-Spec. Transporter room to the captain. Man, what you want, Mr. Mustache? You got my mom and them? Yes, sir. And I also have Mr. T-Spec. Apparently, he was staying with your mother. T-Spec's been putting it to my mama. T-Spec, me no. T-Spec's been putting it to my mama with his new Iberia haircut. T-Spec, me no. All right, then, that's it. That damn new Iberian has pushed me too far this time. Mr. Lafayette hipster mustache. Prepare that airlock. I'm about to put T-Spec's little ass to the space road, me. Hey, how'd that come out, Alabaster? Huh? What? Hey, Nate, I had a great idea for a show that I wanted to run by you. I like how no one I fuck with follows my work, but every time I use them, they gotta push their mixtape on me. Bruh. I was just asking if the take was good, but never mind. I'll fix it at home. No problem. I should be thanking you for waking me up. I've got to do that call-in show with your power in. And while I'm mad, that old bag of dry bones still does that stupid-ass show? Yeah, we usually do it on Wednesday in between the fanatic fundamentalist Christian show and the racist bootlicker show. You mean Freedom Forum? I thought they all died of ass cancer or something. No, not Freedom Forum. The City Marshal show. Anyway, we bumped Lonnie's show to tonight because I'm took off Wednesday to hold my girlfriend's purse at the drag show. Man, say less, B. If not Lonnie's coming, I better get out of here before he gets here with his little hand out begging for something. Boy, if I didn't know better, I swear he's from Platinum. Just the man I wanted to see, Godchild. I need to ask you a little favor, Comsa. Oh, Lord. Lonnie, I'll be right back in two seconds. I've got to make a phone call. I'm going to let myself out, bastard. I just want to say thanks again for sleeping on the job while I continue to make a personal profit off of community media resources. Always a pleasure. Hey, let's get together later this week and talk about my mixtape. <laughs> my godchild, I'm so proud of you and all you've accomplished. If only your parents were alive to see what you've become. Uh-huh, what do you want? Ball, I spent all my retirement trying to prove the dog man of Pecan Island was real but the damn lab so say lost the hair sample I sent them. I'm the laughing stock of Acadiana cause nobody believes that these tatas is real. That's why I gotta do this little show with that drugged out alabaster cause one of these couillons is gonna call in with the smoking gun that validates my claim. If someone with your little media savvy and reach could help me get the word out. Say no more Paran. Look, you basically raised me after my folks died, and I've been waiting for the day when, when you needed some help from me. So I can tell you to go fuck yourself, you crazy old bastard. I worked my ass off so these Lafayette shitheads would start taking me semi-seriously, and you expect me to jeopardize my credibility for some tinfoil to tie malarkey? Comment ça va, and welcome to the truth about the ties. The phone line is on screen and the lines are open. Now while we are waiting for our first caller, I'm going to tell you all about my experience at last week's city council meeting. Now I don't think it's right for me in the twilight of my years to have to sit there and be called dead last at the council meeting when I paid more taxes over the year than all the little people they let talk me before me. It's like in school. When they let the children with the free lunch and the reduced lunch and all that get in line in front of the normal kids. It's not right. And that's why the schools are all messed up these days. That and when they ban Jesus from school. Now I had to sit there and listen to the drag queens, yeah, yeah, about the, the library. 
then I had to sit through some some out of town Malcolm XYZ yan yan about some rundown community center on the north side. Then it was some poor, poor black family that, that had a relative shot by police with more of that XYZ fella and that was kind of hard to sit through. It was a real mood killer, come sa. Then finally, when it came my turn to talk, they stopped me at mid rant to tell me they're out of time like that and I can come back to the next meeting and talk a little more. Partner, I was fashayed me. I mean, they wasted the whole little meeting talking about the civil rights of, of black people and them LGBTGBDs, and they refused to address the real issue, the real problem in this town, and that's the ties. The rest of us normal people, we got rights too, yeah. And we deserve to live in a town free of the ties. Mr. Lonnie, you have a caller waiting on the line. Cut, damn it, Al. I was on a little roll, me. Is, is it any good like that? Is more BS? It's a cane farmer from Youngsville. Says his farm was ransacked by a giant monster. Well, put his little ass true. Mr. Lonnie, long time watcher, first time caller here. Me thank you, Shan. Welcome to the show like that. Right Take your shoes off at the door. I hear you got a Tata problem. I told you to go in that cone and eat on that rice and well, you in that cone and piss on the rice. Friday night, I took my wife to the casino. She hit the jackpot at the slots and they gave us a free hotel suite until we lost our winnings back to We was going to eat that rice. When we came back to the house this morning, I noticed the cane field was all rutted up. I went out there with my 12 gauge Jeremy. in case it was the blacks. And then I saw it. Man, you saw what? Jeremy, you get back here right now. There was a giant boot print in my cane field, sir. How giant? Jeremy. Poo, looked to be 20, 25 foot. Uh, that's cowboy or rubber boot? Rubber. Work boots or galoshes? Yeah, more like galoshes, like some you wear to go fishing, if you was a giant. Like hip waders or shrimping boots? That's it, shrimping boots. It looks like a, a giant Delcom Reebok print. I thought so, me. It looks like you got attacked by got the Donzilla, a 50-foot reptile with Delcom Reeboks. Me God the donk. I need you to do me a little favor, Kurt. Jeremy, you've been playing with yourself to your daddy's uh-huh. Easy Rider magazines again. I'm going to whip both your asses. I need asses. you to do me a little favor. I need you to report it to the Lafayette Consolidated Government and the media. I've reported Got the Donzilla sightings three dozen times, and they never sent out a single officer. If you really want them to throw some resources at it, I say report it as an Antifa riot. Me that shrimp stew from New News was Seban and all, but I, I don't know if it's the shrimp stew or, or the half dozen ball eggs that I put in it last time, but poo, it gave me the farts. I mean, I fought so bad it hurt. One time I fought so bad, I swear to God, a faux filet rose up out my ass. Man, I'm tired, me. Think I'll take a little dodo. Sure hope I don't have the Kushmal fat nightmares again. Alright guys, I told you I could fix this. We just have to trust the science. I should know. I am the last of a race of scientists, and my acumen is the reason your great leader spared me when you annihilated my homeworld. Slugulus 4. Yes, I come from a race of scientists, just as you Graylians are a species of administrators and social climbers, and I respect that. But what both our species lack is imagination. That's why when your great leader tasked me with building the ultimate weapon of galactic conquest, I decided to rip the design directly from the mind of the most imaginative Cajun in the galaxy, this Nate Chasson. I said to myself, 
It worked for DJ Red. It'll work for us. The ship that I built has all the mobility and offensive and defensive capabilities as the ship from Kuyong Quest. My single oversight was leaving the voice command control locked to the voice of Captain Kuyong, this Nate Chasson. An oversight which I'm about to rectify by cloning Mr. Chasson, and then we can use the clone, who we will control, to command the ship. Now we need only extract the DNA with this DNA scanner. Ah, oh, I was concerned this might happen. What? The DNA scanner isn't compatible with his Cajun DNA. No matter, we'll just have to go to plan B. Plan B? We'll just have to extract his DNA manually. All right, plan B, guys. What if he wakes up during the procedure? Won't he resist? Looking at Hello Nurse over there, I'd say probably not. But we will engage the paralysis ray just in case. Yeah, I'm having one of them Kushmile Fever Fought dreams. Flex Fontenot, that's the third time this month I try to get a little meeting with him about funding my Tata research, but he won't see me. Officer, I'd like to thank you for your little service to the community like that. I love community. Seaport too. It's just that damn mellow joy I hate. I think they're in league with the Tatars. I appreciate that, Mr. Lonnie, but there's a policy against us speaking to you unless we are arresting you or writing you a ticket. Life is great! Well, for me it is! God damn it, that was my good hip! Officer, did you see that? If you're asking if I saw the richest, most powerful man in town, a man who could get me fired from my job, buy the house out from under me, then come over and fuck my wife in front of me, run you over, then the answer is no. Well, legally he's required to stop and give his information, and you're an officer of the law. Well, there you go. Case closed. Melash qu'on n'est pas. All righty. Now that that bit of messy business is concluded, we can go down to the cloning chamber and whip ourselves up our own Captain Kuyan. I still don't understand why we need this human to command the ship you built. It's the way these things work. The whole ship is keyed to voice authorization. In this case, we need the voice of Cajun voice actor extraordinaire, Nate Chasson. So of all the voices in the galaxy, it has to be his, the most grating, annoying, forced Cajun accent and dubious Cajun words? Forced? Body lucky I'm all paralyzed, me. May I like to get down from this little bed like that and force my foot in his chew? Is he gonna do that stupid, lispy, Phil Swifto voice too? Or turn into Billy Mela and try to hustle us? How do we know he's not gonna shift into his T-Man persona and whip all our little asses? Oh, nothing like that. I'll just suppress the other personas and all the host memories, leaving behind only the Captain Kuyon persona. Come to the cloning chamber. I'll demonstrate. Oh, God, no! Why? Why? She was beautiful. In her prime. How could you take her from me like this? There may be time to save her. No, it's a total loss. These supercars are too expensive to fix. I'll just have to wait for the dealership to order a replacement. It's a crime against nature for all a man of my means to have to wait for anything. And anyway, no two handle exactly the same. Sir, I need to report this accident and get this woman help. What do you think I was doing, asshole? Here I was, alone, cruising along at a sensible speed when I see this young woman lying in the road. When I whipped my car over to the side to render assistance, I lost control and flipped my car over. 
Luckily, no one was hurt, so we don't need to report that. So this isn't the woman you were riding with earlier? <laughs> what woman? I just told you I was alone. I'm sorry, sir, but there's witnesses. The old man you ran over earlier. What did you say? I mean the old man that someone ran over earlier and I saw. And who saw? And no one. I mean, just him. Look, here he comes now. Mr. Fontenot, I got this little card you gave me, and I was wondering if we could talk. Yes, I've been wanting to talk to you. Just give me a sec. So, where were we? Oh, yeah. We all need money. I have it. How'd you like a million dollars? Think of what you could do with a million dollars. I could fund my Tatai research and prove that Josh Guillory is working with Tatais to gentrify Lafayette. Josh Guillory, huh? He really chaps my ass. I had my lawyer give two million of my money to his campaign so I could own the mayor. Josh thought I was being figurative, but I expected to own him literally, like a slave. And now I can't even sue him for refusing to live in a shack behind my plantation home. This state has gone to fuck hell. I say go after him. Look, I'll give you all the money you need if you sign an affidavit swearing that I was alone when I passed by earlier when I gave you my card. Deal, brother? Me, I'm back in business, me. Hello, Acadiana. Jared Grones, KLFU, here with local crawfish farmer Tommy Richard and Cajun monster hunter Lonnie Mayu. Lonnie, you pay... I mean, you tipped us off to this developing story. Why don't you tell us what's going on? Thank you, Sha. Well, now that I got the money to buy media exposure, I went ahead, me, and started a little hotline for people to report their little Tatai sightings. And this man right here, he called me, and he told me about them Tatais that had been running his ponds at night. Well, thanks for informing us and calling us out to your investigation. <laughs> but... Let's hear it from Mr. Richard himself. Mr. Richard, get your five minutes of fame and tell us about your situation here. Thank you, Grones. This late in the season, them traps should be full full of crawfish like that. But every morning this week, I go out there, I check them traps and they're empty. So last night, I put out this deer camera Mr. Lonnie gave me like that. And what did that camera pick up, Mr. Richard? Made a thing with these tatas is they got some kind of gri gri on them that it interferes with the photography and the video recorders, Comsa. So I'm gonna make a little pass by the community center where the video experts that work there, they can clean up that footage so we can hopefully identify which Tatas are in the recording. I'll have to have that ball email y'all at KLFU with the tape for the 10 o'clock news, Comsa. Well, thank you, Mr. Lonnie and Mr. Richard. And tune in to KLFU tonight, folks, at home to see this exclusive footage of monsters in a crawfish pond. We must hurry. Once the grades confirm that their clone, Captain Couillon, is functional, they will dispose of the donor. And we have this one chance to rescue Nathan Chasson, the real Captain Couillon, and take control of the newly built Graylian Armada flagship. Then we'll finally be free from our subjugation to our great cousins. Boss, about time, yeah. Come on, little green partners, get me out here. It will only take one of us to release the paralysis ray, or we could all carry him together. I suggest we release the paralysis ray and have him walk with us. Agreed, but which one? You do it. I don't know. I've never released a paralysis ray before. None of us have. If I'm the first and I mess up somehow, the collective will shame me. You do it. I don't have a problem with pushing it per se. What do you think? Well, it's a small button. And as much as we are accustomed to doing things as a collective, only one of us can activate the control at one time. So I propose that any one of us can push the button, but we must act quickly before the Graylians return. Agreed? Agreed. Me got the dawn, these little green feet putans is some kind of sad, yeah. All right, partners, let's get out of here, and y'all lead me like that to your little spaceship before that slug and them little tatars come back and probe my bibbit again. I swear, I ain't been drained like that since I worked offshore, back before they ran them lot lizards off the docks at Grand Isle. 
All right, Alabaster. You see there them two tatars? I see two shadowy blobs, but they could be anyone or anything. It's the ties, Bob. I'm telling you. Look, I need you to clean it up w with that photo shawls and make them blobs look more like the ties for grones at the KLFU. I think that's some kind of fraud, sir. Definitely a misuse of community media resources. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, kinda. Look, Bo, I got that Flex Fontenot money now. It's like if Offshore Money took a bunch of steroids and went to the money gym and lifted for 12 hours a day. That's serious money. You bet your little pale font kilot it is. Listen, what if I paid you some of my Flex Fontenot money to provide video editing services for my Tatai research? Well, I don't know. I do work for the Community Media Center, and it's... Technically non-profit, so... What if I wrote a little donation check to the center for about 100000 and y'all can keep your little lights on for six more months? Well, I'll have to talk to the board, but we both know how desperate the financial situation is here. God damn it, that's it. Now this old machine's gotta restart, and that's gonna take all night to get back to where we was. It's just the lights blinking doesn't mean we owe on the power bill. It's called a light bill, you millennial. Y'all don't know how nothing works. They don't teach y'all nothing in school no more ever since they took prayer away. Look, whenever you're behind on the light bill, the light bill people start cutting your lights off and on randomly to make you pay your little bill. Everybody over 40 knows this already. That's why y'all don't have nothing. And y'all now y'all want to be all communist at election time and because it's too much trouble to show up to work on time and pay your little bills. Please, we'll take the money, please. Stop, before you have a stroke. All right, but we gotta get this tape of Tatai stealing crawfish to KLFU before 10 or the deal's off. I can't lose that little bit of credibility that that Flex Fontenot money is buying me. Before we get started, well team, this is our first annual office crawfish ball since the pandemic. And the fair looks great this year. It's late in the season. And they're gonna be real hard to peel, but the scheduling couldn't be helped. We've been so busy with the backlog of cases from LCG. Now before we eat, let's all give a hand to the Grunch and Grow Greg for supplying the crawfish for this year's ball. They look big. Where'd you buy them? Maybe if you can finish crawfish for time I know about. I've been stealing this crawfish for about a week now. Can you believe he put out a trail cam last night? <laughs> Man, I never catch on that all to tie Gree Gree interferes with their cameras and video recorders. Well, guys, let's dig in and rest up this weekend. Next week's looks like it's going to be another busy one. Hey!